in videos, I think it was video 61 and 62, we had derived expressions for the charging current on a capacitor. And this is just a simple circuit, a capacitor, a resistor, and a battery. And we got this general expression. And for the discharging capacitor, it's the same thing, except you'll see a minus sign there because the discharging current goes in the opposite direction, as we talked about. I think that was in video number 61 or 62. And then the more general expression, besides saying E over R is just at some initial value, I multiplied by E to the minus T over RC. And then the voltage on a charging capacitor was this. And again, we derived that in a circuit that just had a, a battery for a voltage source. So we could say, in general, it's some initial voltage times this. And the charging voltage, that equation, just gave this simple graph. When the capacitor discharges, you probably won't be surprised to learn that it also discharges exponentially, something like this. But we haven't yet um, derived a formal equation for that. And we're going to use it in the next video. So I thought we'd take in this video, we'd take a few moments and derive an expression for the voltage of a discharging capacitor. So again, we consider just a simple circuit where we have a battery. a resistor and a capacitor and initially the battery is hooked up to the circuit. This charges to the potential of the battery. The current stops and then we discharge the resistor by completing this switch. And now the capacitor is going to discharge and it discharges with this with the current equal to this equation. And the minus sign means that the discharge current going in this direction is in opposite direction to the charging current when this is hooked up to the battery and the charging current was going in this direction. But what is the discharge voltage for the uh, for the capacitor while it's discharging? So we know that in general for a capacitor Q equals CV and current is dQ dt so we have I equals dQ dt and that will equal C dV dt So the equation we want is I equals C dV dt. That's what we're going to be working with. I equals C dV dt. Or we arrange the simple equation for an expression of dV. And we have dV equals 1 over C I dt. And then we integrate. And in the textbooks you see it goes something like from minus infinity to a certain time. And the reason why you see it like that is the integral of this of course is just V. And V at value weight at minus infinity is supposed to be zero. So this just gives us V equals 1 over C integral of I dt. So in general, that's the expression for the voltage uh, across a capacitor. Now, while the capacitor is discharging, I equals this. So for a discharging capacitor, we'll say voltage discharge. That will equal 1 over C. 
the integral of i dt, but i is this. And of course, this is constant, so we'll have minus e over r, and then the integral of this, e to the minus t divided by rc dt. So this would be the deriving an equation for the expression of the discharge voltage while, the, while this capacitor discharges. It starts off with that voltage. So here we have V, let's just call it VD for V discharge, equals minus E over CR. And then for this integral here, we have E to the minus T over RC dT. Well, we know in general that the integral of, say, E to the P dP is just E to the P. And here we have E T dT, but we have this other stuff in, so this is where we do a substitution. We can say, well, let U equal minus 1 over RC times T. Then DU will equal minus 1 over RC DT. Take this over to this side and we have minus RCDU equals DT. So in this integral right here, we're saying this will now become E to the U. So we have integral of U is minus T over RC, so we have E to the U. DT, that is this minus R C and D U. So this is D C D T right here and this is U. So instead of having E to this, we have E to the U, and then instead of having D T, we have minus R C D U. And of course this integral is just we have this constant minus RC e to the u. But u is this. So minus t over RC. So we get the discharge voltage equals this stuff minus e over CR times this integral which we just evaluated and got this expression. So let's put this down here. We have the discharge voltage equals minus E divided by CR times this. It was minus E over CR times this integral and that integral is this. So we have minus RC E to the minus T over RC. This cancels. It's a positive. We hit say it equals E. E to the minus T divided by RC. So our capacitor initially had a charge of E, the battery, when it was fully charged. Now, as it discharges, the voltage is going to be E, its initial voltage, times E to the minus T divided by RC, and that is for the discharge voltage on the capacitor. Or we could say, to make it more general, is that it equals the initial 
charging voltage on that capacitor. And the discharge voltage would just be that times e to the minus t over rc. And as we discussed in the previous videos, this decreases exponentially, so we're multiplying this by a smaller and smaller number, so eventually it starts at a original voltage and just decreases to zero exponentially according to this equation. V naught being the initial voltage that was secured across the capacitor before we started to discharge it. So we never we didn't prove this formally in the previous videos, so we thought we'd take a few moments and do that because we're going to use this equation um, in our next video. So that's it. Um, I think this is video 65 in our um, electric circuit series, and the playlist for the videos is at the website digital-university.org.